to brag, but that's the catch of the day so far. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right for me. Easiest way to get firewood. Fire. Now it goes what good with fire. Beer. Always goes good with fire. But it's not that we just want to drink this beer. I'm planning on having some Italian sausages and onions tonight. Well, dummy me left my pan at home. I didn't wash it the last time. Oh, I didn't wash it correctly. I washed it in the lake the last time I used it. So I put it home, took it home, 
and my wife washed it and of course she put it back with her pans and I wasn't aware she did that. So I'm gonna drink this beer and then I'm gonna make a makeshift pan out of it for my onions. So that's the plan. Well, we'll let that burn down a little bit, make some coals. And then we'll get some uh, Italian sausage on there. By then, hopefully, I'll have this one gone and uh, we'll make a little pan out of it for the onions since I forgot the pan. Nice to smell wood burning. Last two or three camp videos have been charcoal just because we've been on the burn ban, but they've leaf lifted the uh, burn ban for last couple of counties I've been in, so we can go back to using fire. Well, the fire's making progress. Gather a little bit more kindling, just in case I wanna keep the bigger logs going later. I'm not sure how long I'll want to fire tonight, but I want to have the option just in case. So, working on the beer so I can make the uh, pan for the onions. I'll probably get done with this beer about the same time that the um, fire gets down enough where I can put the grates on the grill and start the sausages. So. Looks like it's going to be pretty good timing. Got a couple people out on the lake. Trying their luck, I guess. Sounds like some old boy over there is having a hard time getting his boat started. I know that feeling. You don't use them, you lose them. You always got to keep them boats running. Poor guy. He's been struggling the last few minutes. He got it to fire once. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. He's right there. There he goes. He's got it going. Well, he did. Man, I feel for him. Nothing worse than coming out and trying to fish and having boat problems. That old boy's still having problems with his boat. I don't know if you can hear it, but... <laughs> Poor guy. Feel you, bro. I got a 1996 Bass Tracker V17 that is temperamental, too. So I know what he's going through. I have been there. Get these grills on the grill. Get them heated up and then we'll get the uh, sausages on there and damn that's hot. Go figure, right? Almost got the beer gone. He's a big boy, so I can't down these like I used to. Uh, 1.9 fluid ounces. The big one. I think I'm just gonna cut it open the can a little bit. Throw some butter, some onions in there. 
I think it'll work out. And then I'll just get the sausages on the grill. That's the plan. So it's about time. We're going to see what we can do with this beer can and make it into a uh, pan. That old boy over there is still having problems with this boat. He's been cranking away and cranking away and cranking away. Man, I feel for him. Like I said, there's nothing worse than going out to go fishing and have nothing but boat troubles. So, all right. So, forgot I'm the pan. Usually I bring a cast iron pan to uh, fry onions and such in, but I forgot it. I'm always forgetting something. Last time I used it, I uh, washed it in a lake, so I took it in a house to uh, get it washed. My wife washed it like she always does, because she's a good wife. And she put it back with her pans. I know she did. I grabbed the plates, the forks, the knives, and stuff like that, but I didn't grab the pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make shift a pan little cooker out of this uh, beer can so I can... Um, cook my onions so that's what we're going to try to do I guess that will work. So I'm gonna go get the onions and the butter and uh, put them in there and get them on the grill. This ice cold cooler is freaking awesome. Holding right at 32 degrees, which is where I got the set. Running off the Jackery, I believe I got it on the 500. Yes, I got it on the 500 right now, so. Even the 500 doesn't have much juice in it because I didn't um, charge it after my last little adventure, so. Get the onion in there. I'm a big onion fan, so. I know a couple of the guys that watch my videos, they don't like onions much, but. I'm sorry, but onions are delish. Put the butter in there. Cut this back up. Kind of put it back on there. Just so I can hold the heat in a little bit better. And we'll get this on the grill. So we'll see what that does. I think that'll work just fine, honestly. Always takes a little bit to uh, cook onions, so I'm gonna put the uh, lid down on it. And we'll see how that goes. I imagine it's gonna work just fine. Been pretty nice actually. A tad bit heavier than I would like, but it being heavy is a kind of a good thing. I've been able to use it for all sorts of stuff. And uh I can't complain. You did me good, Katie Do. Put this little bit of butter I got left. Back in with the onion. We'll get that back in the cooler. There isn't much in there, but. Oh, the grill's all cranking up pretty good. We'll open the flue a little bit, let a little bit of 
airflow through let that cook heat up a little bit more we'll get the onion and the ice co get our sausage and our sausages out our sausages ain't nothing to cook in these obviously so we'll get these open i'll probably eat two or three not quite sure but i think i'm gonna put three on there so these are not cooked, so we gotta make sure they're cooked all the way through. So we'll put them over here where the heat isn't quite as high. And we'll put the grill down on there, or the lid on the grill, grill down on there. Man, I can't even talk. I did slam that, that was like the third beer I had, so I'll get my lighter back in my bug out bag because I don't even lose that. I tend to lose things that I uh, that are small. And I don't want to do that. So someday I'll take you guys through my bug out bag. Actually, you've probably seen a good bit of the stuff that's in there. So not much, too much going on in here, obviously. Got the guitar, I might plunk on it later tonight. Mostly camera stuff. Do got my fire tablet down there. I will be watching some kind of movie tonight. Let's get these two sausages back in there. Save them for another day. If I won't eat them, my wife sure will. Pretty nice out here. The wind has calmed down. There isn't too much going on right now. I think that guy is still messing with his boat. God, I feel for him. I'm gonna walk down here towards the water. Ugh. It's a pretty lake. It's small, but it's still a pretty lake. I really need to get my boat down here and fish this. Last time my sons were down here, they did pretty good. So I haven't caught nothing but a couple of dinks so far. We'll see what happens later tonight. I think after dinner, we'll go on a walk. I might take the fishing pole with me and kind of hike slash fish. Oh, that poor guy. Um, as soon as I said the wind has uh, died down, it's picked up. Blowing pretty good right now. So It's a pretty little place. Like I said, the water's down some. I mean, obvi obviously, where I am right now, this would all be underwater under normal season or normal circumstances. I would say this lake's down three, four feet. You can tell kind of by where the dock is over there. We're down quite a bit, but it being down a little bit also is a good thing when you don't have your boat because it gives you more places to fish from the bank. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'll probably strap on a chest harness and fish some later after dinner. Right now I'm hungry, so I'm not gonna go too far. You gotta let these go a little bit longer just because those were raw sausages, they weren't cooked, so we definitely want to give them their time. We'll let them go a little bit. It's cranking up almost near 250, so it won't be too much longer. I'll eat some sausages. Like I said, we'll, uh, after I get done eating, we'll get off on a hike slash fishing trip. I'll probably just put the uh, chest harness on and uh, fish a little. I like to catch some, tell you the truth. My brother-in-law comes in next weekend, so we'll be out fishing instead of camping next weekend. I don't know if I'll, uh, I may, I may take the uh, GoPro out and film that. I try not to because 
Film is a little bit of a stop in the action, reposition your camera, camera, start the action, reposition your camera. And I don't want to do that to him because, you know, he works in the oil field and he's done his two week hitch and he wants to get out and fish and I don't blame him one bit. So I may take the uh, camera out. I may not, we'll see. If we do, it won't be any big production for sure. It'll just be probably just a GoPro on my chest and uh, hopefully we'll catch some fish. We'll probably do Lake Latonka or Ellsworth. I'm not sure which. I always leave it up to him. It's his boat when we go, when he comes back. So he's the captain, he gets to pick. Um, we haven't done well at Ellsworth lately and I bet you that's where he'll probably wanna go, which is completely fine. Just being with him and being out is enough for me while the weather's still good because we don't have too many more weeks here in Oklahoma, more likely that uh, it's gonna to be tolerable to be out on some of them open lakes. There's not a lake in Oklahoma that's natural. Every one of them has been dammed and had a, you know, is a reservoir or something. So a lot of them are way open, a lot of wind, not too much cover, at least down in the southern part of Oklahoma where I am. And uh, so when the wind's blowing and it's cold, you're feeling it. Those little bass boats are bouncing around on the water and it can be a little bit miserable sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, but right now it's beautiful weather. We'll have a great time, I'm sure, next weekend. Hopefully we'll catch some fish. Pretty quiet out here after that old boy left with his uh, boat he couldn't start. In fact, outside of that guy way across the lake fishing, I don't know, I guess there are two. There are two out here, two boats out here right now. So, but it's pretty quiet. Uh, we're still several hours from uh, sundown, so let's go up over here and see if these sausages are getting done yet. I'm hungry. Well, it's looking pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Don't hold too much hope for a fire later, though. Looks like this. Sure, that's what I got in there. It's burning slow and low, which is perfectly fine for cooking. The onions are almost done, and I'm suspecting those sausages are almost done. So probably another five minutes on that, and we'll get to eating. All right. Well, I think my food is finally done. Let's take a look. Oh, those onions look delicious. Sausages look done. They might even be a little overdone, I don't know. But I'll put this can over here. I think I'm gonna take the uh, grates off. Try to keep a fire going in here a little bit tonight. I feel like kind of sitting outside tonight. So last couple of trips, I retired to the camper pretty quick when it got dark after the hike. And I think I want to sit out here tonight and enjoy the fire a little bit. So get this fire stoked up a little bit. Oh yeah, those onions are delicious looking. Man, you can't get no better than that. Who needs a cast iron pan? Beer can for the win, bro. That is delectable looking. My only fault was maybe I didn't put enough onions in here. Oh, oh well. You can't have it all, right? Good Lord, that looks delicious. My beer can was pretty handy, I ain't got a mitt, so. I'll throw some uh, kindling on top of this and kind of get this stoked up a little bit. Maybe we can get a, whoo, that stuff's hot. It should catch. Get some of this broke up. Get some kindling on here a little bit and see if we can get the spire going again for tonight. Ooh. 
glad I went back out and picked up some kindling. Driftwood all over the place out here, so. And I knew that was probably gonna be the case. Wasn't really too worried about it. I could have brought some wood from home. But I was like, meh, why carry it when you know it's here? Whew, starting to smoke in my eyes a little bit. Good Lord. Yeah, she's gonna catch. Sweet. Get some of this on here. Get it piled up pretty good. I don't know how long this will last, but. Hopefully it'll catch as much as it's, there we go. Boy, it caught right. Sweet. Now that we don't have to worry, in it, worry about it being below the grates for cooking, we can just pile the stuff in here and let this fire roll. Oh, no nice smoke. I missed it after the last few camping trips. Burn bands suck, man. I don't know how you boys in California do it. It really sucks. They even had me looking for one of those propane fireplaces. But then, then we got some rain, so. Oh yeah, she's gonna roar. Sweet. I smell like smoke for sure. Can't come back from camping without smelling like smoke, right? Might have to make one more kindling run before the night's up. We'll see. All that smoke's blowing right into the camper. <laughs> well, that's all right. We're west. The camper's west of the uh, grill, and wind's coming off out of that way. And it's picked up a little bit in the last few minutes. So, get this fire going pretty good. Like I said, I might have been able to just make a little fire pit right on the ground, but I know this isn't really a, uh, what you would call a designated camping spot. I'm pretty much sure she just let me be here. Um, I have not seen any fires, fire pits or remnants of a pit or anything. So I think she just kind of let me be. Let me do this because I don't believe this is standard operating procedure, but I'll take it. Nothing like looking out that front door, not close to the lake with the breeze coming right off of it. And that fire's roaring. I think that'll last a little while. I might put another chunk or two on there. Just because, as long as it doesn't creep up and uh, take out my handle, because I like this grill. It's been a good grill. It's pretty good for this kind of thing too. All right, that's plenty of wood. Where is my food over here? Let's get this over here. Now that's cooled down enough. Well, I had it down my, what I would call my evening beer for the, uh, the pan. So I'm pretty much left with a keto energy drink and some water. So Zevia. Keto energy drinks. These things are pretty good. I mean, if you're keto, you know, but definitely is a zero carbs. Got a few, uh, got potassium, vitamin D, calcium, iron. Anything's better than nothing. If you're keto, you know the struggle. If you're not, carbs are your enemy, man. So this cold is pretty good. I actually prefer it in a, with some Jack Daniels of all things, it's not too bad. Not having sugar in it really will kick your butt because I think the sugar, from what I read, will uh, kind of help dissipate a little bit of the alcohol. But when you're popping something with, you know, 120 milligrams of caffeine and 
no sugar, that shit will hit you. So, all right. Oh, can't have Italian sausages without mustard. That don't happen around here. Mustard and onion is our friend. All right, let's see. There she is. Give it a shake. I'm not too particular on mustards. Uh, I got some in my family that will only eat one brand and such, but that's not me. If it's mustard, it's good. Even Dijon. Well, these onions look delicious. You guys are gonna learn, I am an onion fan, so. I don't make no excuses for it either. It is what it is. Onions are delicious. Drop my fork on the first bite. Get a little bit of onion, a little bit of mustard. Oh, heck yeah. I like Italian sausage. Now, I don't go for that hot stuff. I don't have that spicy streak in me. My wife does, but I don't. The mild or sweet sausage, I can eat that stuff all day. Make a mess here. Caffeine will kick you in the butt, especially after having some alcohol. I was gonna save that beer until after the walk. I mean, when I found out I didn't have a damn pan, this sausage is a little tad bit overdone. Still good, but a little overdone. I think the other two will be fine. They don't look near as cooked. Still a couple, couple of boats out here. One's far south, one's pretty far north. Kind of trying to been keeping it pay attention to what they're doing. I, my eyesight's not the greatest. So. That old boy to the south's been there a while, so he must be catching something. When he went by, he looked like he had live scope, so he's video game fishing probably. Two out of three sausages gone. <clears throat> Fire's still doing pretty good. One sausage left. Quite a bit of onion. Starting the third one. I always know I'm gonna eat two for sure. The third one's always questionable. I slammed that beer, so I'm not quite as hungry as I was prior. Onion, look at that. Sun's starting to go down a little bit. <clears throat> at least it's behind the trees. So it's pretty comfortable out here right now. Breeze is blowing. Cold front has definitely come through. It's definitely cooler. Feels a little bit drier, which is always a plus. We've been pretty humid lately. It's gonna be a beautiful night. I think I'll be able to sleep with just the windows open, maybe a fan on. I don't even think I'll have to run the air conditioner tonight. I might be a little sweaty when I come back from this hike, but about a half a sausage to go, boys. Not much onion left either. Kicking the onions, but last bite. Big bite, but last bite. A little bit of onion left. We'll make sure we get this. Good dinner. Not bad. Well, I guess we'll clean this plate, fork, and knife in the lake. See you guys in a little bit. All right, time what to wash what little dishes there are. Knife, a fork, and a plate, which is typical. Go down to the lake here and. 
this washed up or like I like to call it semi washed up as clean as if your dog ate off of it and I'll take it back to my beautiful wife wonderful wife she'll finish the job for me like she always does because she is awesome that way a little bit different than the last place in here put that there I'll leave it hanging out here don't worry my wife will wash it when I get home like I said she's awesome that way so fire is looking decent some of this can is cold enough now to pick up that worked awesome really did I need a cast iron skillet what I do need though is a trash bag can't be all upset about people not doing trash picking their trash up if we don't do it so put that right there Put the sheath back on the knife. And I always leave these kind of down and out. I usually put them right back on this tub. That way I know they haven't been completely clean. Let's get the mustard back in the cooler. there my koozie I don't need my koozie since I'm out of pretty much everything but water at this point went out fishing good luck to your brother I think I will be fishing too I think that's the plan anyway I'm gonna sit and stare at this fire a little bit And we'll go see. Eh, it's probably still got another hour or so for sunset, hour and 20. Man, I wish they didn't have this locked to vehicles. Ah, but it is what it is. Honestly, that wouldn't be a bad spot down there to camp. Let's go check this out. Looks like somebody was here when it was wet. Judging by these tracks. Nice beach area. Pull that runaway right down here on the beach. That would be awesome. And look at that. 
No doubt my Jeep could get down here. I wouldn't even be at least a bit worried about it either. Because this is a nice beach area. Well, down here I got to throw, right? Go to lure out there a couple times anyway to see what happens. calm again wind completely stopped barely blowing I said that before and bam uh, you never know about fishing Guess we'll walk right across the culvert. All this loose asphalt over here is kind of treacherous, to tell you the truth. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Looks like it's going to be a little ways before we can cast again. Best time of the day, no doubt about it. In photography, they call it the golden hour. golf course close by somebody's golf balls way off course definitely shanked it to the right golf's like I do good lord looks like another golf ball somebody shanked one even further Looks like the aquatic plants are lessening a little bit in some of these places, so we might actually be able to get some fishing in here. I don't know, we'll see. No go. Oh. Well, shoot. another nice area and come right down off that hill camp right out here on the beach it's firm enough up here I can definitely put my Jeep up here
Not even all literally. bigger than my last one. Still dinky. That big rock moved. That's never a good thing. The lure. A GG. A little bit bigger bass, not by much, maybe a pound. Well, I guess that ends our fishing. Man, that's two lures. I think it's about time to maybe change this line. I don't know. That definitely wasn't very strong. I think right up there somewhere is the uh, Jeep trail back. As soon as I can find a clearing, I think I'll go back that way since we've all seen this already. I'm not sure where that clearing would be, but. Stole Muller. I guess next time I'll bring more than one lure, which I know better. Especially knowing that there was grass and a lot of aquatic plants and stuff over here. Yeah, it looks like I found the Jeep trail anyways. Yeah, we'll follow this back to the camper. Stoke up the fire a little bit and sit there and watch it for a little while. Sounds like a plan. It's the first campfire I've actually, or remnants of a campfire that I've seen on the trail. Well, a little bit of action, all dinks. Of course, I'm fishing fairly small. In the morning, I might try some top water, a little bit bigger tackle. Might have a little bit better luck. Maybe so, maybe no. Looks like we're gonna have to take the long way around or go back to the shore. Yeah, let's take the long way around. What else we got to do? It's beautiful out here, so. Oh, spider. Actually, I think I'm caught up in his web a little bit. think there's anything in there and even if there was I don't have a lure rookie mistake never go on a hike take one fishing pole 
and no backup lures. Kind of silly, but that's what I did. back to the rig nice little hike Made it back to camp. Everything as as I left it. Think I can get that going. Won't be long, it'll be dark. Just got back from the hike, but kind of itching to take the top water. Going down here and throwing a few. No, I don't know. Kind of tired. I really didn't do too much today, but definitely feeling it. Not a pretty long week at work. Sometimes coming out here and camping is a little bit more strenuous sometimes than work, especially with the hiking and stuff. So, yeah, I think I'm going to grab the top water if I can find it real quick and head down to the uh, water. And let's see which one of these is top water. I believe it's this one. Of course, that wouldn't be the one that's caught.
this, that's not going to have to come on it. Pretty dark out here now, so get back to the camp. Sipping on some coffee and just sitting outside enjoying what's left of the fire. There's not much left at this point. Turn the air conditioner on in the camper for a little while. Just to take a little bit of that humidity out. It was 93, I think, in there when I checked the thermometer, so. It'll cool down here in a little bit, I'm sure. I probably won't run the air all night, by no means, so. I want to finish my coffee, stare at this fire for a little bit, and then we'll hop in the camper and watch a movie and maybe plunk on the guitar a little, I don't know. It's pretty much embers now. She's hot though. We could definitely keep it going if we wanted to. But I don't really want to keep it going much longer. Not exactly even sure what time it is, but let me take a look here. Yeah, 8.15, so it's not that late. It just seems that late. Uh, we gotta be coming up on time change soon. Her body feels like 9, 9.30. Sun's all but down now. All right, we are inside the camper. Uh oh, starting to get a little breezy out there. I think the strongest part of the front starting to come through right now. So, all in all, it was a pretty good day. I mean, it didn't start off that great. I got about 10, well, actually it was about 15, 20 miles from home and I started smelling coolant in the uh, Jeep. I always have a little hint of coolant. I think my heater core leaks just a little, but it was more pungent and stronger than usual. So I pulled over and uh, popped the hood and I could see it squirt right out of the heater hose right where it attaches to the thermostat housing. In fact, it's right here. Oh, I can't tell if you can tell or not, but it's a slice right there. So I uh, shut the Jeep off and um, let it cool down a little bit, release the pressure on the radiator cap. And I was able to cut that much of the heater hose off and pull it down and there was enough give that I could clamp it to the uh, thermostat housing and got us here anyways, and it's not leaking right now. So I think on the way home tomorrow, I'm gonna stop at either AutoZone or uh, O'Reilly's or whoever happens to have the uh, heater hoses and get them. It's a 2000 Jeep Wrangler and they're everywhere. So I generally don't have too much problems getting parts uh, for them, they're usually in stock, so my battery's been giving me a little bit of trouble too, so I'm just gonna get one of those when I'm in there. So I think the plan for the morning is to get up, fish. Um, I brought some eggs, I might do breakfast. More than likely, I'm just gonna have a protein drink, some coffee, that's usually my MO. I'm more interested in fishing and eating, obviously. So, and uh, no big hurry to leave tomorrow. Um, I got to get back to the town with the uh, AutoZone and O'Reilly's when they open. It's Sunday, so they're not going to be open too off early. So, I'm not in no big hurry to get out of here myself. So, I think for tonight, I'm going to find a movie, watch a movie. Plunk on the guitar maybe a little bit, I don't know. And then hit the hay. So, 
like I said, it's been a good day. I'm tired. Way more tired than I should be for a Saturday. I feel like sometimes camping is uh, more strenuous than work. So, anywho, I think I'm going to get ready to do that. And I can feel the wind shaking the camper a little bit, so... It's cooling off enough out there now. I could probably open up these windows. Take my shoes off. Oh. Got a little cross braze going. Hear the water it's bashing up against the rocks. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, get a drink of water. I think I'm a little dehydrated actually. breeze coming through the windows feels good my signal's not the best out here try and let the uh, radar update apparently it's going to be slow yeah we'll get that amount. yeah we definitely might get some it is definitely heading towards us we're just south of that blue dot and it's moving eh, southeast so we're liable to get some yeah not too worried about it doesn't look severe at all oh let's see what's on the agenda tonight i didn't download anything before i left so we're at the mercy of whatever I downloaded the other night. All right, we got a full metal jacket. Something called The Harder They Fall. And Scarface. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Eh, let's watch Scarface been a little while since I've seen it. Well, 
says it's 69 degrees outside. Sounds about right. Air feels good. Wind definitely kicked up. So, pretty tired. It's almost 11 o'clock. water hitting the shoreline with the wind blowing the way it is. It's going to be a nice night for sleeping. All right. I will see you all in the morning. Definitely chilly in here. The wind picked up after 
when I went to sleep last night, and it just blew all night long. It's blowing right now. Seven forty three. There's some rain to the west and there's some rain to the east, but right where we're at, nothing right now. But it is definitely cloudy and windy. There goes my plans for top water fishing. I never seem to do well in top water when it's choppy. And I haven't looked out the window yet, but I could hear it rocking and rolling out there on the lake. <sighs> Shoot. This little camper feels the wind. One of the few negatives about a little camper. It rocked and rolled. Even still hooked up to the Jeep. I guess... I could have put the stabilizers down, that would have helped, but I had I had no idea that it was gonna blow and blow and blow. And I always in Oklahoma when the fronts come through it always blows when the front's coming through, but sometimes it calms right down afterwards. But it sure didn't last night. So it was definitely not my best night sleep in the camper. It's nice to wake up to a chilly morning, though. I let you know that there is a chance that fall is actually on its way in southern Oklahoma, which is a good thing. This has been a long, hot summer here. No, one of the first things this morning is going to be coffee. <clears throat> I don't even want to get out of bed. I do have a little bit of time constraints today, though. The auto parts store is opening up, and then... Today's the first Sunday of uh, NFL football, so one of my boys will be up, and we get to watch some games. And So I definitely got to be home for that. And this ride home might be a little bit slower with that strong north wind. Because you got a bread box pulling a bread box. These things are about as aerodynamic as a brick. And then you can say the same thing about a lifted Jeep Wrangler as well. So heading straight into it ought to be a, a little bit of a challenge. It's a good running Jeep, but it don't generally have too much problem pulling this. But you add just a little bit of wind, and I got a couple of hills I have to climb to get home, and it's just going to be it's going to be slow. Well, I guess I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh, Lord. All right. Took me a few more minutes to convince myself to get my butt up and get outside. We are outside. Overcast, windy and chilly. Let's see. Sixty-two outside. Huh. I guess that's really not chilly, but when you've been dealing with nineties and hundreds, that's chilly. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna get some coffee made. I guess I will see you guys in a little bit. feel any hot spots at all of course with as much wind as we had last night i wouldn't expect there would be any i put the uh lid down on it and just opened the 
flue on it and just so we wouldn't get any uh, embers blowing around out here. Even though it had started misting, you don't want to take that chance, so. Come on, coffee. Takes that little thing a little while to get going. Still faster than a jet boil though, and when you have access to uh, electricity, whether it's through the Jackery or shore power, I prefer the Keurig. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Stand over here, block the wind a little bit. It's got the stream blowing crooked. Sun poked through for a second, but then clouds took it away. Looks like a lot more clouds from the north, so I don't think we're going to get too much sun. Crooked streams in the morning. <laughs> the wind's blowing the coffee stream. <sighs> oh, sunshine. Look now, because it won't be there long. Pretty picture. Get my protein drink in me. Uh, I think I've talked myself into fishing a little bit. I'm not going to go too far, though. sit here and enjoy my coffee for a little bit and then we'll head down and uh, do some fishing before we uh, get everything packed up and get out of here so I'll see you guys in a little Water. bit see if we have any luck at all the only thing I have rigged up is some top water so we'll give it a shot not holding out much hope though Man, that wind's really blowing.
Well, got a good bit of my coffee in me. So now I'm a functioning human anyways. Fished a little, no luck. Only thing I had on was uh, top water. I didn't feel like really messing with relining that pole after I lost that lure last night. So, like I said, the plan was top water, but that lake is rocking and rolling right now. I think a bigger swim bait would have been better, but laziness. So we're going to start putting uh, things away and uh, getting camp broke down and so on. So I guess I'll just let you guys sit up here and be lazy and watch.